What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here, and I got mission 108 for February 2024 right here with me. It is time for another Battle Box Breakdown. I'm a little bit under the weather, so if I get in a coughing fit or my voice kind of screeches or goes all out of whack, I'm sorry. <laughs> Came home from SHOT Show with the funk. Been really sick for the last week and a half or so. So at any rate, let's get on with the get on. And hopefully my voice will carry me through to the end of the video. So y'all don't go nowhere. Let's break into the box. Yo. Okay, dokie. So as always, we've got our mission brief. For mission 108 right here. All the levels in there, basic, advanced, pro, pro plus, yada, yada, yada. So no matter what level you get, you get this booklet so you see what all, uh, there we go, what all levels have in it. First page is a write up from yours truly and we're gonna jump in to the basic box. This month, the first item in the basic box is a knife from Revo. It's the Canyon Folder. Oh, that is sexy right there. So this Revo Canyon Folder has a 4CR13 MOV blade right there. It's got a nice deep belly to it. Isn't that nice? Got Revo here on the other side. Got aluminum scales, deep carry pocket clip. It's got caged bearings, and it's got a button lock here. So right there is the button lock. So if you push the button, you know, she closes up and that is also the locking mechanism so you can push the button with your thumb to open it if you want to like so or of course you can give it the old flickeroo and open it up so that is the first item in the basic box the Revo Canyon folder uh, Great, just everyday carry beater knife. Beat this thing up. Really nice deep belly in it. Probably be pretty good for you know skinning game if you need to while you're out. And I will say I am uh, guilty of that quite a bit during hunting season. I mean, I've got skinning knives obviously, and I keep those with me during hunting season, but something about just grabbing your pocket knife and using your pocket knife, <laughs> I'm, bad. I'm bad for doing it. I would definitely use this to uh, to do some skinning tasks right here with that deep belly like that. But a really nice knife. But again, aluminum scales, stainless steel liner, um, 4CR 13 MOV blade. It's got ambidextrous thumb studs. Uh, the clip is uh, ambidextrous, so you can swap it over to either side depending on which side you want it to be on. It is a tip up carry and tip up carry only. And of course, got a little lanyard hole there for you lanyard folks. Definitely uh, can become a, a bit of a fidget, a fidget for uh, us knife lovers out there. <laughs> That's a freaking sweet knife for the basic box right there. A dang sweet knife, very well built, sharp as hell. So second up, in the basic box, we got a staff recommended item from Walter Hicks. Oh, Walter, the boy's got a pretty good pick right here. It's the Flextail Tiny Pump X. Where are you at? Here it is. Ba Bam! The Flextail right there. So, I'm sure you guys have seen this online. It's a very popular inflation pump for sleeping bags, sleeping bag, sleeping pads, you know, beach ball at the freaking beach with the kids or whatever, but anything that you need to inflate, right? And this was pretty cool because it's also got a light that you can use like a lantern. So we've got power cord here. Open this up. Got all your parts right there. So we got our tiny pump X right here. Again, our cord. We got a little a little carry bag for it. And then you've got different types of adapters here for all sorts of different types of uh, inflation devices, right? Um, not all 
sleeping pads had the same valve instead of using your lungs, right? Which, believe it or not, introduced moisture into your sleeping pads or anything else that you're blowing up. This is a great way to quickly and efficiently blow up your pads or other things that need to be blown up without wearing your lungs out or introducing any unneeded condensation or moisture into your pads. <coughs> Six little pieces right here that can attach to this. So the pump itself to start with, as you can see here, is tiny, right? That's why it's called the tiny pump, but very freaking powerful for what it is. So this little nozzle here is your exit. This is your intake. And here on the bottom will be where your light is. So I don't know if this is charged or not. Yep. So there's your light. You got three different intensities of your light here. And then there's your pump. Sounds like a freaking turbo <laughs> when it fires up, man. This thing's great. You got all sorts of different adapters that will fit onto the nozzle here. So you, know, you got this kind. And you got this flexible one that can actually go over top of this one if need be so that you can pump up your pads. You got a little skinny nozzle deal, so like your typical um, like beach ball valve, I'm going to call it. That you gotta, you got to like bite it with your teeth to open the valve so that you can get the air in. You can stick this into there and blow those types of things up. All sorts of different different size adapters or whatever. And they'll also fit onto the intake side so that you can use this to also deflate your pads, right? Because this is a suction side. So you can hook these on, turn it on, put it on your valve and help quickly deflate your pads and things like that as well. So tons of different options for, you know, affixing this to your different things. Um, USB-C chargeable. And of course, it's got the light on the bottom. So you press and hold, and then you can go through the different settings for the light. And it's a really nice light. So you can hang this up in your tent, in your hammock, or whatever, and you've got yourself a lantern, or use it as a flashlight while walking around in camp, whatever the case may be. So this has a 13 milliamp hour battery in it. I think run time's like 15 to 20 minutes continuous, which you're, it's not, you don't need it for that freaking long. I'm talking about using it as a pump. The light, I don't know, I haven't ran out of power yet using this as a light. I did take this with me for the uh, Mammoth Sniper Challenge that I did um, the first weekend in January, and it worked great. I was able to pump up my pad, and we had light in our tent when we needed it at night. So um, not sure how long the light lasts. I know it lasts, it lasted me all through the weekend, but the pump, if you run the pump continuous, you're probably gonna get about 15, 20 minutes of runtime out of it, which is plenty because you can pump up a pad pretty damn quick with this thing. That is your second item in the basic box from Flextail, 1300 milliamp pump right here that you can pump up and deflate all your different inflatables, whatever that may be. Even for you weird folks out there, I mean, it would cut down on setup time. Don't know why I went there, um, it just felt right. Maybe it wasn't, I, I don't know. Next up in the basic box is a compass. It just isn't any ordinary compass. This is a Brunton 9077 Lanzetic compass. It's freaking nice. Check it out right there in the box from Brunton. Brunton makes really nice compasses, you know, really high-end compasses as well that a lot of uh, survey crews and things like that use. This is a classic military style compass. Learning how to use a compass is not that difficult, okay? A lot of people, you know, they see all the features of a compass and the, it freaks them out, okay? So you can use any compass, can do the basics, right? And then some compasses have 
the ability to work better with maps and be able to, you know, get your bearings and your headings and all that stuff figured out and, and really get down into the nitty gritty of compass type of, of work, right? And it's not for everybody, but everybody should understand the basics of a compass and you should not be intimidated by all the features that a compass may have, right? So this is a very good compass right here. It is a sighting compass. As you can see, we've got our sight right here, full metal body to it here. So it's not a plastic compass, it is metal. It's got a nice long straight edge here. That's great for map work. Folds down small enough that you can put it in your pocket. Has a rotating bezel, as all your compasses should. It has a very tactile you know, click to it there, which is nice because you don't have to worry about this. You know, once you get it set where you need it, you don't have to worry about it easily being moved because it it does have a little bit of a detent there. I don't know if you can hear the clicks, but it's got those clicks there. So when you get it set to the position that you need, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay there and not easily be moved when you're handling it. My grandfather's old compass that is just like this, but obviously old as dirt that, uh, that he had when he was in the military. And it's very similar, almost 100% identical to that compass that my grandfather had. There's, there's a lot of good training online on how to properly use compasses. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, I'm not extremely well versed in using the compass when it comes to like the hardcore stuff of, you know, um, using on a map and different things like that. And that's something that I personally need to work on and that I plan on working on. Really good compass for basic navigation, being able to find something in the landscape, pinpoint that, search down through it, find out what your heading is, and be able to walk in straight lines and be able to return where you've been using your compass here. Um, very smooth, very accurate, and very durable compass right here for you to navigate with, yeehaw. And tried and true design. I mean, this design's been around, I know for at least since the 30s, I'm pretty sure. The Lensatic Compass. So that is your basic box. We've got the Revo Canyon, we got the Flextail Tiny Pump X right here with Lantern, and then the Brunton Compass right here for the basic. Yeehaw. Advanced box time. Now this item right here is something that I've been using exclusively for the last several months and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It has been an awesome EDC companion, if you will. It is the Poseidon Nano from Dark Energy. It is a power bank that is freaking awesome. And I keep one in my vehicle and I keep one with my EDC. And there it is, just this little guy right here. Check that dude out. It's got the uh, magnet for like the back of your phone. So your phones that have uh, wireless charging, you can stick this directly to the back of your phone and charge wirelessly. You got this little button right here. You push that, it's gonna give you your battery indication right here. It is a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. Obviously it comes with your type C charging cord there. It is an amazing charger. It's not very big, so it's got this nice slim profile and it just sticks to the back of your phone. There, starting to charge, yell. <clears throat> got the hiccup there. So it's very slim, as you can see, it doesn't, I mean it's, about, it about doubles the thickness of my phone, but I can still put this in my pocket. I don't have to worry about hooking up a freaking cord to it, right? I can still use my phone, I can still hold it, I can still talk on it with no problem. Take it off. You don't have to turn it off or nothing like that. It'll turn off on its own when it's not being used. So it's water resistant, it's got a really nice durable shell to it. One button operation is all, you know, all it requires, USB-C charging right here on the bottom. It's got this little tab right here that makes it nice. You know, if you got this in your back pocket or in your front pocket, you can just grab the tab, 
pull it out, no big deal. So in my testing of this, I'm getting anywhere between five and eight hours of additional power. IP67 tested, water resistant. Um, they did a six week straight test in freezing temperatures. It maintains, maintained its charge and would still charge up uh, devices when hooked to it. You can see it quickly recognizes it and starts charging. I also use this during the Mammoth competition to keep my phone charged while um, we were doing that. Worked flawless, didn't have to recharge it or anything. It lasted me through the weekend, did a great job. Um, and I've been using it, you know, on my travels, used it at SHOT Show, et cetera, et cetera. And that is your advanced box for mission 108, the Poseidon Nano from Dark Energy. So now it's time for the Pro Box. The Pro Box this month is a member recommended item from Timothy S. from Sulphur, Louisiana. It is the Grail GeoPress. That's right, we got the full size freaking Grail in this here box, yeehaw. I love Grail, love them. They're freaking awesome. It's like one of the coolest container water purifier filters yada 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 out there okay um i really dig these things as many of you that follow me well know uh, we sent the ultra press a while back and it was a big hit everybody really enjoyed the ultra press um which is identical to this as far as its function but it is a smaller container, smaller vessel, if you will. The GeoPress is the big brother of the Ultra Press. So you get this nice box right here. It's got all your information right here. 350 presses, 250 liters, 65 gallons. The cartridge is replaceable. It says right here, it removes viruses. 99.99% .99 of viruses, rotavirus, norovirus, hepatitis A. Bacteria, 99.9999. E. coli, salmonella, dysentery, protozoa, giardia, cryptosporidium, amoeba. It filters out microplastics, sediment, silt, PFAs, chlorine, chloroform, heavy metals like lead, arsenic, chromium, etc., etc., etc. It's freaking awesome. The water tastes great. You can go get it out of a mud hole and it tastes great. It's freaking crazy. Very simple operation. You've got your outer container here. You've got your inner container here that has the filter here on the bottom. So this is a little bit newer design on the filter system. The older filter system had like a tab right here where you pulled a tab out to unlock your filter. Now you can just rotate it off. Um, so this is your filter here that you can replace. You can buy new filters right here to go on to your inner container. It just locks in just like so. And of course you got your top, take your top off, and it's got your spout, nice large spout right there for you to drink out of. Very simple to use. I'm sure you guys have seen me use it plenty of times, had viral video. I think our first viral video on TikTok was actually using the GeoPress, or it may have been the UltraPress, but otherwise it was a grail. So you take this container here, the outer container, you get your water in here. There's a line, right there's a line, you fill the container up to there with the dirty water. Then you take your inner container, crack the lid or the top right here, the spout so that some air can move through there. You put this in and you literally just press down and it presses the water into the inner container and you can drink straight from the container. And you ain't got, I mean, you're done, right? It's freaking awesome. People are like, well, why don't you just use a life straw? Okay, you can use a life straw. Life straws work, right? But you're just drinking directly from the life straw, right? Just get you a little sip. This way you can get water, you can drink, rehydrate yourself, do it again, and then carry the rest with you. And you've got a container with water in it and you're ready to drink at any time. 
You can use this to fill up other people's water bottles and then do it again and you got your own water right there. It's just an amazing self-contained, everything's right here, everything works. It's very hard for you to cross contaminate with this. It works freaking excellent. So this is uh, 24 fluid ounces um, in total. I think I've said in the past when I've talked about GeoPress, I think I said it was a 30 ounce, which is incorrect. It's not 30, it's 24. You're gonna absolutely love this. You're gonna want to have this with your gear all the freaking time. You may get one of four colors of this. So you may get this one, which, what was the name of this one? Uh, Oasis Green. So this is the Oasis Green right here. It's got orange and green. You may also get just the olive drab one. So it's just a olive colored one. You may get a black one with green grail logo there. You may get the coyote brown one, which was this one right here. So you may get one of these four. Yeehaw, how about that? So that is your pro item, the grail GeoPress. It's freaking amazing, I'm telling you. It's gonna be your most favorite water purification, water filter device right there, I promise you. I promise you. So now it's time for the Pro Plus box. Now this right here, this knife of the month, <laughs> it's freaking sweet. It's a sexy EDC knife right here. And it is a Battle Box exclusive colorway, colorway, which I've never understood that word colorway. Well, way what? Why can't, why can't they call it a color scheme or something? Anyway, from Real Steel, it is the Sacra Pro, let me show you the box here, real steel. The Sacra Pro Battle Box exclusive. This thing's freaking, so freaking sweet. So you get some literature in here about the Sacra Pro Battle Box edition. It also comes with their FTP tool right here, which is pretty cool. So it's a little tool that's got different size torques and uh, Torx Phillips and standard screwdriver on here so that you can take this knife apart if you want to, clean it and do maintenance and all that fun stuff. Check that dude out right there, man. This is such a sexy knife. When you get this thing in your hand, you're gonna be like, oh yeah. Now we're cooking with grease. This thing right here is road ready. So let me read you the specs on this thing. So the blade length is 3.31 inches. Overall length is 7.36 inches. It has a glow in the dark thumb stud right here. So this thumb stud's got a little glow in the dark feature. The frame finish is blue titanium coated. So it's really nice blue, kind of a flat blue titanium color here. Blade steel is K110 with G10 scales. Comes in at 2.8 ounces. It has a crossbar lock. As you can see here, it's got the crossbar locking mechanism. And the designer is Jacob, and I'm gonna try to get this freaking last name right. Bear with me. Jacob, if you see this, I'm sorry if I butcher your last name. Wait, Korsowitz? <laughs> W-I-E-C-Z-O-R-K-I-E-W-I-C-Z. -E -E Jacob, whatever that is. Uh, sexy knife, dude. Did an excellent job designing this thing. <laughs> That is a good looking blade, man. Good looking blade. Uh, very smooth, easy to open. Uh, the locking mechanism is very well designed and very smooth. Those gray scales with the blue titanium is just, that's just freaking beautiful. So that is your Pro Plus Knife of the Month. The blue titanium G10 K110 steel. And it has ambidextrous clip here you can swap the clip over to the other side if you want to but other than that it is a tip up carry only definitely fidget worthy 100 percent fidget worthy 
So that's Mission 108, a battle box, folks. Going to do a quick recap, starting off with the Revo Canyon over there. That's right, a knife in the basic box. The basic people are going to be freaking stoked about that Revo right there. Button lock design, nice deep bed belly in the blade, aluminum scales, excellent everyday just working knife right there. You're going to really enjoy that. We've got the 9077 Lensatic Compass from Brunton right here. Old school design, metal construction, excellent compass right there for you to get your skills built up on using a compass. It's got everything that you need to get started with using a map or not, just using it as a basic compass. The Flex Tail Tiny Pump X right here. This thing's freaking great. You got all these parts right here so that you can, you know, pretty much adapt this to literally anything that you may need to inflate. You can also deflate by putting the pieces onto the intake side right here so that you can actually deflate the things very well and make them a whole lot easier to fold back up and pack back into the, the bags or whatever stuff sacks that they actually come in. But it's also got the lantern there on the bottom. So you can hang this up in camp, hang it up inside your tent, inside your hammock or whatever, and have sufficient light when you need it, in addition to the being able to blow things up. And, forgot to mention this, I think, earlier, this is an excellent bellows. If you're having trouble getting your fire stoked, you got this, turn that pump on, you know, direct it down in there into the coals, into the the belly of the fire and uh, supply good oxygen to get that fire going. So you can also use this as an improvised bellows. We've got Poseidon Nano here from Dark Energy. My favorite power bank to date right now, that dude right there. No cords needed other than to charge it, charge it up with your USB-C and then literally just let that magnetize to the back of your phone or any other things that accept wireless charging. The freaking GeoPress from Grail. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what else I can say to make it any better. Like This is the, the Grail of water filtration and purification right now. Excellent all-in-one system with the filter your containers, you can take water with you, you can use it to fill up other people's water containers or bladders or whatever, and then get some hydration for yourself, and then some for on the go. Excellent size right here, 24 fluid ounces. The cartridges last a long time, especially if you do what you should, which the rule of thumb is to find as clean and clear water as possible, hopefully moving. Cut down the amount of silt and sediment that this has to filter through, and your filters are gonna last longer. Um, it will 100% work. I did a viral video, I don't know, a couple years ago out here using a grail in my mud hole, okay? Worked great, but stop the filter up. Be cognizant of what you're using this for, and that's with any filter system, not just grail. I'm talking about any filter system. You're going to extend the longevity of your filter by getting as visibly clean and clear water as possible to start with, and then you've got less crap's going to mess up and block up your filters, right? But filters are replaceable. I think they last like 10 years still in the package, so you can buy extras and put them away for a rainy day, yada, 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 and you're good to go. And last and certainly not least, we got the Pro Plus knife of the month is the Real Steel Sacra Pro Battle Box exclusive colorway right here with the uh, blue titanium, the gray, the glow in the dark, thumb studs. Freaking sexy knife. It's so freaking smooth, so freaking nice. Going to be an excellent EDC knife for you. And it comes with the FTP tool so that you can break it down and clean it or swap, you know, swap where your, uh, your clip is on it if you desire to do that for right hand or left hand carry. Gorgeous knife, great build, great lockup. I'm in love with it. It's freaking great, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it too. And that's Mission 108, folks. Hope you really enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the items that are in this month's box. If you want to find out more about BattleBox, you can check us out at BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com, Christmas every month. We also have a huge community with BattleBox as well, especially on the Facebook. We got a Facebook members only page. If you are a subscriber, you need to be involved with the Facebook members only page if, of course, you are on Facebook. A lot of trading going on there, a lot of fun 
fun stuff going on there. We give, do giveaways on there that's exclusive just for members only. Members only gets first look at videos, the whole nine, right? And also, a new thing that we implemented, and it's in this booklet right here, and I want you guys to be aware of it in case you're not. Yeah, that makes sense. So we got this thing on the website called the Battle Vault, okay? The Battle Vault, got it right there. Picture of a vault, it's pretty freaking cool. So in your booklet here, there is a QR code that you can scan as a subscriber that can get you into the Battle Vault. It's for subscribers only, okay? It's kind of like a back end to the website. We have tons of products in there at really, really deep discounts for subscribers only. So if you're a subscriber, don't miss out on the Battle Vault. There's things in there that are you know, too expensive for us to be able to put in the battle box that you can get a really good deal on. Tons of exclusive stuff in the battle vault. I don't want to give it all away. I want you to go in there and I want you to explore it for yourself. If you get your booklet, if you're a subscriber and you don't know about the battle vault, on the next to last page is all about the battle vault right here. And it has a QR code so that you can gain access, access as a subscriber and check out all the cool stuff that's in the battle vault and we're adding stuff every week to it. We're working on adding some training opportunities in there, so discounts on different training, uh, survival training, prepping training, all sorts of different types of training all over the United States. So, you know, no matter where you're at, hopefully we can supply you with a good deal to a trainer in your area. So we're working on all that stuff and many, many more things coming to the Battle Vault. So be sure to check that out. I love you, I mean it as always. I appreciate you guys watching. Please share with your friends, comment down below. All the fun stuff, yeehaw. Click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and the bell icon so you'll be notified when I post more vidges. Love you, mean it. We'll see you next month on Mission 109. And hopefully I won't be sick then because I honestly feel like crap right now if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> I'm struggling to talk. My lungs hurt so bad with the freaking shot show funk. We are, we are, right, though. We'll get it.